And knowledge, raw talent in every situation You see the creation every time when I'm painting Been through real trials and them tribulations The devil steady working, but you know I keep the faith in What's up, what's up, it's your boy, Greg Like Mine and Bozo Hey, welcome back to the art department, baby Welcome back to the art department <laughs> Hey, did y'all get that energy? Did y'all receive that energy? All right, use it and let's create. Let's talk about it. Hey, look, a lot of people have been asking me about the difference between everything. And I just wanted to make a video, a quick video, on showing you the difference, the different methods of DTF, uh, transfers, um, direct, uh, direct to vinyl, I mean print on vinyl, and I think the other one was, I think that was it. On how you can use it and the difference between them. You know, how they create the, the um, like the screen print transfers. And then you got, you know, the DTG transfers and stuff like that. So, we're going to jump right into it, okay? Let's talk about it. Alright, first I'm going to start with this. This is a super color transfer, okay? Now... This is all you do is send them your color, send them your design, I say color, ha. send them your design, you know, and they will print it out for you. But it got to be transparent design and they will print it out for you and it will come on a sheet like this, right? And then on the back, you got an adhesive, you know what I'm saying, where, where you're supposed to put it down and this adhesive will stick to your fabric. So it's like a one step process. You know, you order it, it comes in, you heat press it down, quick. This is this is why a lot of screen printers, a lot of us like this, because it makes it time consuming. That you can, you can press it down, be done with just like that. Time consuming, you know. So this is a super color transfer. Now, this is what you call, this is one of my designs right here, which is called a print on vinyl. Direct to vinyl, which in which they calling it now, and the reason is direct to vinyl because it's actually it's vinyl. Let me show y'all some. The way that you peel vinyl is the same way that you will peel this right here. I'm just gonna use this. As a matter of fact, let me cut it one off. This will give you an example of what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, I'm about to come out back with, back out with this man because everybody been asking me about. Uh, the like-minded. That's why I got the name like-minded Bozeman for, from. But look, okay, you take it, and I'm going to show it right here. Let me get in there. And you hook it just like you do vi regular vinyl, and you peel it back. You peel it back. If you look at my last video, it will show you the direct-to-garment process. And you peel it back just like regular vinyl, you know, and you come out with this. Now, check this out. Like I did on the other video. Now, this one, you're going to take a transfer tape, which Caesars will see, send you this right here when you order yours. You take the transfer tape and you put it on here, you squeeze it down. Or you can order you some. Uh, where the tra Right here, I'm sorry. You can order you some and then you lay it down. Transfer tape. And then you lay it down on top of it. Meaning, this is like print. You print, that's one step. Uh, you let your machine cut it out, your cameo, or you can cut it out yourself. Then, that's, that's two processes. Then you take the transfer tape and put it over it to pick it up to put on design. So it's a three process in which this is the one process. And the difference is you're taking it off this. They're on the same film, but you're taking it off this to put it on your t-shirt when you can just press this one already down, right? And it, it gives you this look right here. You see that? Let me see if I can block it out so you can see it. Okay, you see it? And this is the one I just did. I washed it and everything. Let me see if I can get on. I washed it and everything, and it came out great. I have no problem with it. But I would recommend when you're doing um, direct to vinyl, please, man, do not just use an easy press. Get a heat press, man. Do it the right way. So you can know it's down there correctly. Because I use the easy press. Because somebody asked me, can you use it? And I tried it out. 
and I wanted to go wash it, man, and, and it peeled right off. So you want to get the proper, you know what I'm saying, press, the proper heat and everything to it. So I would recommend using a heat press. Not no easy press. Ain't nothing wrong with easy press. But it just, you know what I'm saying, if you're not strong, like your boy is, you know what I'm saying, you got to put a lot of weight on it. You got to put the same pressure that you're getting from a heat press onto that easy press. And this one right here, I had this one for years, man. For years. And you can see it's still holding this color, you know. Also, when you do it, you know what I'm saying, you can see one is, you know, a little vibrant as far as colors, you know. But it's the same. It's basically the same how you do it, you know, because this is the sheet that you're going to print on, print on, um, what you call it, man? A direct to garment. I'm sorry. Lost train of thought. Direct to garment. You know, you're going to print on this right here. You're going to take it to a regular inkjet, your home inkjet that you got at home, that you got it sitting there, you know, and you can just print your design right on here. You don't got to make it transparent. You don't got to do this and that. You don't got to do all that. You just print it right on here, okay? And then you let your cameo cut it out or you use your regular scissors to cut it out yourself. It, the choice is yours. But see... Things I'm learning about both of them, you know, like I'm, I'm going to try it on these right here. Like I did these right here. Let me get out of the way. I did these right here. And this is a super color transfer right here, you know. And I put it on here. I tried it out, put it on the shoe. And it, it works very good, you know. I'm going to try the, uh, um, the direct to garment transfer on a pair of shoes. So... People that want to design their own shoes, they be able to design it. You know what I'm saying? Just putting their transfer. Like, I, I love these, man. I, I'm telling you, man, I haven't even worn them yet. I just let them sit, man. This is mine. You know what I'm saying? I love them, love them, love them. You know, we got the Econo transfer on back. If you can see it. Let me see if I can block it out. But go look at the video. You see it right there. It's a sensitive, so in the heat, it changes color. You know, this give you some ideas, you know, and give you the comparison between direct to vinyl and transfers now let me show you something too it's a screen print transfer also like that you can use this i haven't did it yet i don't have the time to do it yet but you take a regular screen print right here like this right here and you screen print it onto this sheet of paper right here you screen print it right on here like, I, I can start that. I can do it myself for real. I can sell screen prints all day long, you know, because you print it right on here, and then you use a powder. Hold on. Work with me, guys. You use this powder right here. You see that? Use the powder right here, and you sprinkle it on back. You know what I'm saying? If you can get in focus. You sprinkle it on back. Of the transfer and then you, you know what I'm saying, you let it melt on there. You took take a flasher or a heat gun, hair dryer, whatever, and you let it melt. And that what gives you this right here. That what gives you this right here. You know? And I'm gonna show you something real quick. This is this is my man, big boy transfers. Big boy prints, I mean. And this is the one that said it's the same thing. But see, he used the machine to print it out, and then he take the adhesive. And the, the powder and put it on the back right there. You see that? So this would stick. Now this is a DTF right here. This is like a screen print DTF. You know, it, it's a method. That I don't know what they use, but it is like that. Not taking away from Big Boy. Big Boy prints like that too. Because I tried his, stretched it and everything. But you know what I'm saying? But I use both of them. I love both of them. And then you got the, the vinyl right here. Direct to vinyl, change of the game right here. For those that's beginning, you know, if you can't, if you, like me, if I got a project I got to really do real fast, I probably go right to the direct to vinyl because I have to wait for the screen prints to come in. You know, the transfers to come in. So I will probably go direct, to, you know what I'm saying, direct the uh, vinyl real quick, print something out, bam, bam, bam. You know, so you have your methods, you have your options, you know what I'm saying, whatever the process you want to use. Nothing is wrong. Like I stamp all of them. You know, direct to vinyl, uh, uh, screen print um, transfers, uh, super color, uh, you know, whole lot of DTF, big big boy prints. You know, I hey, I stamp them. They good. I haven't had no problems out of them, you know. 
um if y'all have any problems man let me know in the comments and you know we'll address the we'll address it you know what i'm saying with the whoever did what we go to them i ask them a question hey why this not doing that why this doing that you know real talk so hey that's all i got for you guys create 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 don't be scared but don't skip the process don't try to get around the process Go through the process, the temperature, the press, you know what I'm saying, how much, you know what I'm saying, force you're supposed to put in, whatever it is. Go through the whole process. Don't skip it now because you never know, man. You be running, that thing fly off, man. You be, oh, boy, you know, oh, boy. But, hey, that's all I got for you guys, man. Create, create, create. Peace and blessings, y'all.